The idea that our private choices have cosmic significance, that one way to frame it is that God sees everything, that, that idea seemed irrational in the old story. It seemed profoundly unscientific. And that set up a conflict between science and spirituality, and therefore between activism and spirituality too. Now we are understanding, we are taking on a new story in which it's no longer unscientific, because if, if every part is a holographic image of the whole, then any change to any part corresponds to a change in the whole. Rupert Sheldrake articulates this really beautifully in the theory of morphic resonance that says any change that happens in one place creates a field of change that allows the same change to happen more easily somewhere else. But I have an another way of looking at it, uh, and I, I want to address this, this kind of feeling of futility and despair that comes from I'm um, just one separate individual. What I do cannot possibly matter. We need another reason. Another reason to do these things besides it's going to somehow make a, bit, a difference on the grand scheme of things. Another reason. Another map. Another compass to follow. One time, years and years ago, I was, this is 10 years ago, I was fighting with my wife. Big arguments. In my memory, she was doing most of the shouting. <laughs> but one time, I was, and I had a story that said she was emotion, emotionally abusive and so on and so forth. And anyway, one time I couldn't take it anymore. And I left the house, probably slammed the door, went for a walk. And I'm like, I'm done trying to make peace. I'm done trying to make this work. I'm just going to go nuclear. I'm going to let her have it. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to restrain myself. And boy, that felt good. But then, like this kind of calm but very serious knowing came over me that if I went nuclear, there would be nuclear war on this planet because I was making a declaration and a prayer and a choice of the nature of the universe. And so I went back, I didn't go nuclear, and here we are today. No, just kidding. <laughs> but this, but this, is, this, is, this is actually a paradox, because it's not saying that my choice and not yours has kept us uh, still alive and still hopeful today. And that paradox is irresolvable when we see ourselves as separate. But I will offer this to you um, as that other reason to be an activist. And this could mean a big activist. I'm not devaluing the big picture political action. Um, and, and I'm not saying the, to do the small personal things as a substitute for that. I'm saying that they all come from the same place. They all come from the same place of trust. And fundamentally, in order to really change the world, they have to be arising from um, a different story and a different motivation. So, my time is up. And I will just leave you with just my appreciation for this conference, actually. Um, part of this rising water table of a new story. Um, offering us reason to live prayerfully, to live as if each choice and each action were a declaration of who you are and what world you want to live in, and a declaration that is heard, that is heard, that is received, offering us an intellectual framework in which that knowing is no longer irrational. Here we have the union, the reunion of heart and mind. Thank you. <laughs>